Hey everyone, welcome back. As you can see from the title of the video, um, today we will be doing an unboxing and a reveal of the Sterling Inc. April subscription kit. This is my second month subscribing to Catherine's subscription kits and I've really enjoyed them. So yeah, as you can see here, I try to salvage the sticker um, by peeling it off really lightly, but didn't really come off the way I would like but that's okay um yeah so here's the big reveal what I really like about Catherine's designs is that they're so elegant and also I like how all the designs she does for each month all correlates with each other like they all really match so it makes decorating really easy especially for someone like me so first off, I'm taking out all the stickers and in this white envelope here are the freebies that come with every order. And next is the calendar printed on vellum. Next, the stickers I will be holding up. These are the floral arrangement stickers, the element stickers, the large pattern stickers, large icon stickers, and um, the box sticker sheets. And this one right here is the washi strips, and they're so, so pretty. All the detailing of Catherine's designs are just so, so beautiful. Next, I will be showing you some of the date stickers. So it comes with one date sticker, two sets of 31 individual day stickers, and you see the days of the week also. So yeah, it's quite a bit of stickers in one um, subscription kit. I really like these element stickers because some of them are quite large so you don't need too many of each sticker on one page, at least I don't. Like I said earlier, I'm pretty minimal when it comes to decorating so I like maybe just one sticker on a page or if I'm being crazy, <laughs> maybe like four or five stickers. So in each subscription kit, uh, Catherine also includes two vellum sheets that are the same design as the stickers and I really like using vellums to decorate my planner pages as tip-ins or I like to use them in my clear covers. So now I'll be setting up the first week of April with you all. Um, today I will be using my trusty fountain pen, the Platinum Preppy, and these stickers here. I've really been enjoying the Platinum Preppy because it dries really fast on Tomei River paper and the writing experience is just really nice. I'm new to fountain pens as the Platinum Preppy is the first and only fountain pen I own. But yeah, drop me a comment down below if there are some fountain pens that are beginner friendly that you've been loving because I'd love to try more fountain pens. So this Hobonichi Weeks Mega I am using as my wellness journal and right now I am setting up my mood tracker. I write down the moods on top and then on the left hand side I will write down the days of the month and put a dot on what mood I am feeling on that day. And I just like looking back at the end of the month how my mood goes up and down and whether or not it correlates with my movement or the habits that I did or did not do that day. Yeah, it's just really interesting to look back on the data. Next, I will be setting up my habit tracker. And as you will see here in a minute, I'm referencing the month before and how I like to set up my dates is in order to kind of split it evenly, I guess. I mean, make it look even. I will count down from 10 from the middle and write the rest of the days of the month on the other side of the page. But yeah, this just makes it easier for me to make it look even. So what I track for my habit tracker is I will track if I wake up early, if I am hydrated, um, if I do my daily stretches, if I journal, if I make sure I have me time, which is really important to me, 
Um, I think it's important for us to make time for ourselves because I really resonate with the saying you can't fill with an empty cup. So yeah, it's a great reminder to me and although I'm not always good at it, but you know, keeping it in my habit tracker hopefully will keep me accountable. So one thing about these stickers, so I have the clear mat. I don't know if it's just the batch that I got, but as you can see here, the cut's not as crisp this time. Um, it's quite hard for me to peel it off, but it's all right. I'm, I try to be very careful because the clear stickers are quite delicate. So before this next scene here, I want you all to brace yourself because while filming this, I literally screamed out loud because this next sticker that I'm about to put down before I even put it down, it accidentally got stuck onto the Tomoe River paper and I screamed so loud because I was like, oh my gosh, that's not where I wanted it, but oh well, <laughs> you're going down here now. Yeah, so I mean, I'm glad it doesn't look too bad. Um, I kind of wanted the sticker a little bit to the left more, but anyways, I ended up adding a few more smaller stickers to make it look like it was intentional. <laughs> so that's all right. Initially, um, I thought that was enough stickers for the page, but then I thought maybe I should put one more element sticker in this corner on the right here because I don't know, it looked a little bit empty to me. And what I really like about these clear stickers is that they don't really bulk up the pages. As you can see here, I'm kind of struggling a little bit with um, being gentle, peeling off the stickers because the cut wasn't as crisp. But again, I think it's probably just my batch because they're usually really great. Moving on to the weekly view for the first week of April. So funny story, something that happened while I was filming, I accidentally set up the wrong week for this video. I didn't even pay attention to the dates and I think I set up, I think it was June. Yeah, I think I set up June and while I was flipping open the page for my en ending shot, I realized that yeah, wrong date. So yeah, if you can see here, some of the washi strips were already used because the first footage I had, I decorated the wrong week. But it's okay because in each subscription kit, there's more than enough stickers to go around. So here I put down the thicker piece of washi strip. And as you can see, I am trying to look for the element sticker that I want. So something I've been thinking about, about this YouTube channel is, well, because I'm relatively new to the YouTube scene, so I'm curious as to what you all would like to see more. Do you guys like to see more plan with me's or would you like to see more Happy Meal unboxing or journal with me, maybe what's in my bag? how I plan on a daily basis. Yeah, let me know in the comments down below what you would like to see more of and I will definitely do my best to head toward that direction. I think I've mentioned this before in previous videos, but I find the act of decorating and putting down stickers very therapeutic. To me, it's very gratifying to put down these stickers looking at what I've created and then looking back at it again after I filled out the pages with my journaling it just looks so I mean it's like art right you're not really sure how things are going to turn out till you finish it completely and when you look back at it it's like huh I'm an artist no I'm kidding I don't I don't I wouldn't refer to myself as an artist but I mean I feel like as creators like when we do journaling and when we plan and decorate draw doodle i mean we are right we are some somewhat of an artist so whether or not 
we, and I mean me, whether or not I identify as an artist, I guess I am to some extent. So yeah, this is the final look. And I hope you enjoyed this plan with me today. And I will catch you in the next video. Bye.